Adventures. Hey, so I am just leaving the Manassas Gap Shelter. Today we have 12.9 miles to the Rod Hollow Shelter. The forecast, I mean, it's beautiful right now, but it does call for thunderstorms after five, I think, and maybe overnight, so maybe another shelter night. I have to decide. I really don't sleep as well in the shelter as my tent, so I'll see how it looks when I get there. And did not look at the terrain profile. I have a feeling it's a lot of ups and downs. I am going to stop for lunch in about, or not lunch, because um, it's only four miles away, but I am going to stop. I'll see how I feel, but I might stop for a snack at Whiskey Hollow Shelter, um, which is four miles from here, and it's a little sentimental because that's the first shelter that I had stayed at during my section hike last October with my friend Jenny. Hey Jenny! Jenny's on trail as well. She's down uh, probably in North Carolina and Tennessee right now headed north. And Whiskey Hall is a beautiful shelter. It's fairly new. Um, so we'll see how I feel when I get there. I may need some water or whatever, but uh, yeah, we have 12.9 miles, so let's do it. Such a beautiful morning here today. I'm walking through. I feel like I'm surrounded by wildflowers. Yesterday it was red buds and dogwoods and today it's these trillium and there's other little tiny flowers I don't know the names of that are just everywhere I look. I love those flowers. Um, they say spring to me. I have a goal of being able to get up and out earlier to walk while the woods is waking up. I did that one morning when I had to get my shuttle. It was incredible. So I need to be able to do that more often. I find myself um, leery, even when I'm in my tent, to like unzip and get going, you know, because there's other tenters nearby. I feel like I'm disturbing people. I need to get over it. I feel like any time after 4.30 a.m. out here is fair game. So I may try starting to get the process going a little earlier so I can be out here sooner. But we'll see how it goes. Unfortunately, I have trouble falling asleep last night. I really probably didn't fall asleep till closer to 11 or midnight, so ugh, it makes getting up a little difficult. But we'll see what we can do to remedy that. I wanted to mark this for the record. So I'm coming down and I see this hill and I'm like, oh, I mean, it's a nice, you know, non-technical trail, but I'm like, oh, another climb this morning. But then I noticed, oh my God, the AT goes this way, at least from what I can see there, is downhill. So that rarely has happened to me so far. Usually it's like, oh, the AT is going to go up this giant hill and this other trail is going to go down. <laughs> so thank you, trail. A little trail magic from the trail itself. A little rock hopping. The trail is over there. <laughs> so I have to put the phone away to do this, but I thought that was kind of cool. Hey, I made it to the Whiskey Hollow Shelter, which is back there in the distance. Um, in the spirit of keeping it real here on the trail, I thought I would show you one of my favorite types of privies, and I actually made a 0.3 mile trip down the hill, and I'll have to go back up to the main trail in order to visit this um, beautiful new style shelter. There's a gentleman in there eating lunch, so I can't video around, but the privy itself is a newer style. Uh, as you can see, it's open air, bottom and top. It's much better than the outhouse creepy style that um, I've had thus far along the trail. Um, some of those are okay. Some of them are really gross. This one is spotless inside. It does not smell. Um, it has, it's a moldering privy. So there is a can of wood chips that you throw in when you're done. And there's microorganisms down there that basically compost it and that's it. It's really nice. It's clean inside. I've known hikers, if there's an electrical storm or something, you can sit in the other side. The toilet's just on one end and um, doesn't smell. It's a miracle. So anytime I see one of these or know that there's one, I try to take advantage because they're not all this nice. So just keeping it real out here, I wanted to show you guys, because uh, <laughs> one of the questions I get, where do you go to the bathroom? This is one of the places. I showed you the beautiful privy already, and this is one of the newer shelters. Um, it has a lovely picnic table out front, fire pit, benches. There's a uh, bear pole to hang your food, and there's a spring right down that dirt path that is flowing mightily, fill up really fast down there. 
So inside, they have a covered deck here with a picnic table, um, which is nice for when it's inclement weather. And inside, it has a double decker. It has a loft up there and a very spacious downstairs. And there's a bench all along the outside for people to cook or eat, organize their stuff, what have you. So great job, Whiskey Hollow. This is one of my favorite shelters so far. Holy smokes, that sun is hot. And I had about a one mile climb out of that shelter for a water stop. Um, I have about eight miles to the Rod Hollow shelter. I haven't looked at the terrain profile, but a gentleman at the Whiskey Hollow shelter taking a break as well. He's going the other direction. So he has come this way. He said the terrain isn't too bad. And based on his uh, age and some other descriptions he's given me of things he did think were bad, I'm hoping I might be okay. <laughs> I uh, have a friend on trail, but she and her daughter, they're faster hikers than I am and we've taken different zero days off and such. So we keep texting each other and we're just, she's like one shelter ahead of me. But when they say hike your own hike, it's no joke. I know that I need to just keep my pace, what I'm comfortable with. I'm carrying an extra probably 30, 25 to 30 pounds on my back. And I can't afford to like hurt myself. And I don't want to make myself totally miserable. I mean, I'm spent at the end of the day, believe me, and things hurt, but I'm not injured. And once I get a meal in me, I am in generally good spirits. <laughs> I am happy with, um, for the time I've been out here, I think even with a zero day and that one Nero day where I only did three miles and change, I'm averaging about 10 miles an hour. Or, oh yeah, 10 miles an hour, don't I wish. 10 miles a day uh, going into the second week, which was kind of my goal. It seems to be working well for me. So I will reassess as time goes by and uh, plan accordingly. So there's a lot to think about, you know? I have to carry water. Where's my next water source? That takes time, get the water, filter the water. Usually you have to hike to the water a little bit off trail and uh, all that sort of thing. Entering my first, well, I think my first state park. This apparently is Sky Meadows State Park of Virginia. And I am traveling through. It coincides with the AT. And um, someone had posted on the Far Out app that there was a lovely campground. I'm not going to stay there because I have, you know, about six miles to the shelter. But that there is a campground available here, Sky Meadows Campground. And they say it's like primitive campground, but they have, I guess, a pit toilet and tent pads and so forth. It's supposed to be quite nice. So. If it was another time or like I just didn't feel like continuing on, I might check that out. But I'm going to keep forging ahead six point something and the sky did get overcast. Can't say I mind. The sun was brutal and there's a nice breeze now. So I'm taking advantage and trying to get some miles in. Rod Hollow, I'll see you tonight. Harper's Ferry, I'll see you in a few days. Uh, quick update, I took a break about a mile back at this beautiful spot called Nancy's Bench. Oh my god, I hope her, I hope it's Nancy's. I took a photo of it, so it'll be at the end of the video probably. But anyway, it was a tribute to a woman. Her children did this bench in this beautiful spot where the AT converges with some of the state park trails. And there was this lovely um, box with a, a register, so I signed it one of this woman's books that she had written, a pair of readers, a pen, um, and something else. And there's, I don't know, they have a website and I'm, I am going to go look it up. I mean, what a lovely tribute to someone that loves hiking. They said she loved the AT and I did took my pack off, had some water and a snack. And then as luck would have it, because I did that, I ran into a day hiker I had seen earlier in the day who was headed back to her car. So she was asking me a bunch of questions. We hiked together for about a mile and it helped me keep my mind off, you know, how much further I have to go, whatever. So that was a lovely distraction. Her name was Denise and she wants to do the AT 
she's doing suctions right now day hiking and um okay i'm at ashby gap i have to cross a four lane ooh, a four lane highway so i'm gonna go not what you think of when you think of the at i had to hoof it i mean there's a curve right there these people are flying and i got extra weight on my back this is crazy but at least I'm in a median that's safe and I can see this other section coming better. But whoo, that's just plain rude at the end of the day. <laughs> Not to mention the fact there's going to be a big old climb back up into the mountains. I'm two miles from camp and I'm hot. I'm tired. These climbs today in the afternoon took a lot out of me. Um, so in the spirit of living in the moment, I'm going to stop for a sit down break two miles out and I am going to get some of this cold spring water, filter it and drink cold water. It is such a small pleasure in life. It is huge. I just want something cold to drink. So I'm going to get it and I'll get to camp when I get to camp.